Hi there, Joomla fans. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we'll try playing around with Joomla 4 and see how we can use the Bootstrap 4, how we can benefit from the Bootstrap 4 that's included. So Bootstrap, if you don't know already, is this great framework which includes all kinds of basic CSS and stylings you need to put together a website. So Joomla 4 has that built in. Uh, let's try changing some colors if we can. So let's say we want to add some colors to this module. All right, so let's go find this module first. We go here, site modules, and our module is called Old Reports. So here's a module, okay? So in the advanced tab, we have this options, module class and header class, and this is what we're gonna use. So with, uh, let's say with colors, we can use any of these classes to get this particular color. So I can use text primary to get a, this color. I can use this one to get this gray color or, 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 or any of these. And then obviously they are applicable to links as well. But well, let's say, all right, so we wanna change our, this one, all right? So let's do this. So text info and we'll apply it to the heading. All right, and refresh, and you see what happened. I think I have to put a space here. I do that, and there you go. All right, so yeah, because the classes yeah, actually conflict, so always put a space before and after. I think the, so this one was originally like this, but now it's bluer, all right? So text info, we can change this to text primary, and you'll actually see the blue color. I don't think it's visible right now, but if I go ahead and change this and come back here, see the actual blue color. So if I say text six danger, we should see the red color then. There we see the red color. So that's a basic bootstrap 101, you know. And so for in bootstrap, you know, you can have headings and margins as well. So let's say I want to have a P five. That's padding five from all directions, right? So you'll see this gets much bigger. So you can do all kinds of stuff wherever you can put classes, you know, wherever you put can put classes, you can do all kinds of stuff. So that's for uh, color change. Now let's try adding a background to this one. So uh, can we do background? So in Bootstrap, do we have backgrounds? Uh, background color, okay? So we can use this one, and this will give us this blue background. So let's do that. Okay, there you go. Let's change the text color to something nicer. Uh, yellow, I think. That'll look good. So we do that and remove the padding, because that doesn't look good. Okay. All right, yeah, so that, that looks like a different module now. You know, it highlights a little. Uh, now we can do the same for the module as well. So let's say we want to give our module this red background. Uh, we can just add a class here. Remember to add a space before. Uh, all right, and there you go. We have the red background there. So that that that's really how Bootstrap works. You know, it's all based on classes. You can use the classes anywhere you like. Let's say you want to center the text of a module. Now, I don't know if this would work because these are links, not really, this isn't really text, but it's more links. But yeah, it works. It works. There you go. And, you know, yeah, so we can actually move this here. So we only center the title and not the text. There you go. So that, that can work. And, you know, in Bootstrap, there's this thing called cards, which works really great. We can try creating this. Uh, so we do a card class here, all right, and the title gets this uh, card title. Yeah, I don't think we can do that because we need card body class somewhere in between. Uh, all right, let's, let's see. Maybe this will work. I mean, the end preview should be something like this. We don't have an image, but it should be something like this. Yeah, uh, well, I need, I need to put a space here. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't really work. The cards don't work that great, but uh, because they need an additional card uh, class here and whatever. But yeah, you know, you get the idea. There's, there's a lot you can do. 
as far as uh, bootstrap is concerned. And, and these are just a few examples of what you can and cannot do with bootstrap. This is applicable across everywhere, anywhere you can use classes. So uh, let's try applying this to the menu and see if it works there. So go to home and there's option for page class. There must be an option for page class. Okay. Okay. So let's say we want to use uh, BG primary. So this should apply this background to the whole body. I think it's going to work, but oh, there you go. Okay. So now you have a different background per page. You can do that, you know, just without writing a single line of code. All right. You can do it for color too. So say uh, all the text in your page is supposed to be yellow. And you can do that as well. So whatever text, so this is text, this is text. These are links actually, but whatever is text will actually be turned into yellow. So, and that's just a glimpse of what you can do with Bootstrap. As, as you, uh, the site grows more, there's more content on there. You can do a lot more uh, with, with Bootstrap. And these are really, I just use the colors and the background and the spacing. You can do a lot more with it. Either way. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more Joomla tutorials.